It's raining from Ray Ra. Uranus. The rain rays down as the rays, the beams of sun. The radius, the radiance, the ratios of Ray of Ra. Sun, God's son, the son of God. Novum, this is November the 19th, part 3. Novum is 9 in Latin. What is now 11 was formerly 9. Thanksgiving this year is on the anniversary of the day they took out JFK in 1963 at high noon as part of the nightmare before Christmas ritual, seasonal ritual of the dying light of the dying sun dying on the ecliptic going to his death at the southern cross of Capricorn where he's dead for three days in his tomb his cave is in inter of winter his burial and then he pops back out on the 25th up a degree climbing to Aries arising to Aries marching to March through January February through Aquarius and Pisces, Aqua Osiris and Piscis, Resurrection, Resurrection, Rebirth. Here in Earth. So we got the last three synchronicities to share, and a little bit more of uh, Man and His Symbols to read before I rush home and shower for my slave job to drive off to my slave job as I said before though one is enslaved by matter one is always bound by matter by in a body in a boat in a book in a bouquet of flowers phallus your mind need not be you can, have, you can discern, you can discriminate, you can dis, make distinct your mind and your body. Your interiority and your exteriority. Internal, external, eternal. This now is eternal. It's always now. It's never then. Man plans and God laughs, as the Yiddish proverb goes. I rushed through this one before because I was running out of time. At 11.08 on 11.18, there was so many... There were, I saw it 1.18 as a total like four times yesterday in the consumer carnival of the carnivores with their carcasses. I do see some vegetarians come through, thank God. 11.08, 15 seconds... 147.48 was the subtotal, 31 cent tax, 14779 total. So the 147 corresponding, and then the 1 and 1 8 time of the date as well, and then the 6477 invoice number, 47 below, 47 above, 11, 11, 11, 11 28, 28, 1, 1, 10, 10. This whole ritual of the holy days is about this God who is above and below. The El, of the Twelve, the Bull God of Phoenicia, who is the Lord above and the Lord below. This is his bellow time, his death time, his death aspect, the slayer of the slaughter, which is why you have Santa or Satan in a sleigh, as Saturn does, time flies, riding through the skies in disguise of December, deception. This is the time of the shadow, December is 10. Tenth month, the death of the sun, 10. One and zero, 10. One and zero, one. Say 10, everything and nothing is everything. Lingam yoni, male, female. There's the lingam, the candy cane of Cain and Abel of the cannibals. The J was non-existent before Latin, of Saturn, Saturn, of Saturnalia, of December 17th, nightmare before Christmas, the orgies and the orgasms of the organisms, 
Look how many sections on this J phallus of the crook with the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Say ten. The word bag in gematria is the value of ten. B is two, one is three, A, alpha, one, aleph, the bull, the Bible. G is seven, adds to ten. Say ten. Say deception, say blood sacrifice, bloodletting, say slaughter of the turkeys, and slaughter of dignity, slaughter of good, poke her with the pokes, the fork with the four pokes, the four points, fork, F-O-R and F-U-R, homophone, F-O-R-E, the forefront, the cup, the mug of the mother of the moon of matter, the chalice of Alice, for the phallus. Pot in my nose, this awful raw Franken weather. They get this high pressure dome artificially created over the western US that's drying them out in the California sacrifice zone, and they're pushing it all over here to the east, the beast. This winter is, uh, I'm a little worried, I'm not worried, but, you know, it's just, I probably should have gotten out of the, off the coast, you know, yesterday. 11878 total at 308 on 1118. So there's one of the 118 totals I mentioned. 118, the date 1118, originally 918, as I've said, over and over and over. I hope everyone's got that's watching has gotten it by now. That time has been tampered with. I mentioned one to one guy yesterday the thing with the months, right? And the date, the September 7, October 8, November 9, December 10, right? And uh, and he's just like, oh, so this big dopey guy. Originally, oh, so there's only 10 months. And then he said something about Jeopardy. So he tried to be funny, you know. Not, wasn't being funny. Was not a funny guy, though. He said something about. Um, I'll take the something for you know. Some people talking to me like I'm Alex Trebek, and I said, "No, uh, I'm I'm in reality, not a game show. This is re this is real life." And he's just like, "Ah," and I said, "May the force be with you." And he walks away, and he goes, "As long as it's Christ." Ah, <laughs> uh, I thought your Christ was Alpha and Omega, everything. <laughs> So how could this force I'm telling, wishing you to be, wishing to be with you, not be Christ? These people are just, you know, religious people. They don't know anything. Religious believers, anyway. Because you could call me religious because, right? I, I like Jung says, it's you know healthy to have a religious attitude. But people who, you know, sign their minds over to religious organizations and dogma and doctrine. And take the book by the, take this book, this ancient book that's been tra translated, mistranslated, changed, updated so many different times, literally. They take it literally. Modern people with the minds of children and the hearts of devils. That's what these religious people are. You know, whether it be Christian, Muslim, or Jew, anyone who's just fixed on their dogma and their doctrine and thinks that everyone else is wrong and will fight you for it. They're obviously <laughs> hypocrites. Because the whole point of the all the teachings of, of uh, you know, all of them is, well, I don't know about Yahweh, but <laughs> Jehovah. Because he's pretty much fire and brimstone, isn't he? Uh, anyway... And then you got, of course, academic mainstream science insisting that we can do without anything, anything beyond us, you know, man can be God and everything will be fine. Look at what we got with that way that's going. The scientific dictatorship we have, as Huxley, Aldous Huxley was pointing out, was coming and we have it full, circ full spectrum now. Chemical dictatorship. 23... Items. This is the last one, last but not least, on the 18th of November 2018. Cash register synchronicity, CRS, 1.23 p.m., 23 items. 
And of course yesterday I botched the numerology on the first video I made saying that it was a 23 day when it was 22 because my presence wasn't so good at that moment. I said I had a brain fart, but you know, I was making an excuse, so I just... I ain't perfect, nor do I strive for perfection because I'm perfectly imperfect. So are you. Completely incomplete. Incompletely complete. Paradox. The invoice number. 22. Let's go back to man and his symbols now. Let's end this on a good note today. Master in Gematria, 76. Slave, 59, 14, 5. Mason, 62, 8. Same value as Doubt. The Sons of May of Beltane. Free, 34. Free, 3, 4, 7. Six days of creation, seventh rest. He's astrological. First page of Genesis. Look it up. First page. Verse, chapter 1, verse 14. And God created the, the gods, created the Elohim, created the stars for seasons and for signs. The stars in the heavens for seasons and for signs. Which is what? Yup. Astrology. Astrology. Remember, God is here, El Elohim, the bull god of the Bible, of the summer summit, the most high, the council of the twelve of El, the light, God is light, John 1, 5, that would make Eve Libra, even, equilibrium, the balance of the equator and all equations of the sun on the ecliptic, the sine wave, the serpent, the six, serpent, sex, Aries, Adam, Arise, Odd, Even, Dawn, Evening, Sunrise, Sunset, Life, Death, D-I-E equals 18. This is what Genesis is, genetics. It's this. Doesn't make any sense unless you have the... The map doesn't make any sense unless you have the key to read, to unveil the mystery. To make what was misty clear. Demystify. In this I am a society, everyone's tagging themselves, giving themselves titles and living by that, right? Well, I am a D-mystic. <laughs> Certainly not, don't call me a mystic. I don't want you being all misty-eyed. I want you to be wise and read, see through the lies. This section here in Man and His Symbols by Carl Jung called Heroes and Hero Makers. We're going to start reading that section. We're going to move on from where we were because... I just want to do that. The heroes, let's read the captions here from these images. We'll read this tomorrow. This will be a preview of what we'll read tomorrow. The hero's early proof of strength occurs in most hero myths, below the infant Hercules killing two serpents. Hercules. Top right, the young King Arthur. Arthur, Thor, Tor, Bull. The young King Arthur, alone able to draw a magic sword from a stone. Bottom right, America's Davy Crockett, who killed a bear when he was three. King Arthur and Davy Crockett. And on the other side... Above, two examples of the hero's betrayal. The biblical hero Samson, top, betrayed by Delilah, Delilah, and the Persian hero Rustam, led into a trap by a man he trusted below a modern instance of hubris or hybris, overconfidence. German prisoners in Stalingrad, 1941, after Hitler invaded Russia in winter. And then on the other parts here, we'll read those tomorrow. I don't want to have to rush them, but you can pause and read it there if you want. 
Hare Krishna, Aloha, Hallelujah. Tomorrow we'll do Heroes and Hero Makers from Man and His Symbols by Carl Jung. Have a good Moon's Day.